So today I'm at the middle part of the Masonic ghost town. The town was sectioned off in the lower part, middle part, and uh, the upper part. And this was the mill that was used at the town. So we're going to be having a look at all this today. As you can see, there's an old cabin there and uh, behind those trees are some uh, old cabins as well. It's all ruined already. And on this side, That's just a bunch of old wood and barrels and all kinds of stuff. There's also some remains up there. We're going to have a look at that too. This is one last look at the log cabin. This is just the remains of an old house. Let's go have a look at the mill now. For as old as this place is, this mill's in awfully good condition. Because this town was abandoned uh, in the late 1920s. That's about when the post office closed and and everyone started leaving. Although the lower part of the town was abandoned first, then the middle part was in the middle and upper part were left for a little longer. People still lived here. This is the lower part of the mill. Oh, uh, have a look at that, all that stuff at the bottom level, after I look at all this. This mill is massive. They built it to last. You can see the wall, it's in great condition. Let's go have a look at that now. This is a closer look at the mill, or part of it. I'm now on top of the mill. You could see all that. In the distance, you could see the mill that we looked at. And there's this old building made out of rock. Let's see it. Now I heard this was the post office. I don't know if that's true. Although, it might be. We 
have another log cabin to look at. Doesn't appear to be much left. Let's keep looking. Maybe I'll find some more stuff. There's a little creek that runs along the road. And that's just a giant waste rock pile. All the materials they got from the mines. The, this, uh, it's sure been overgrown. in good condition though. You could see the ore shoots had two of them. I'm trying to get to that side behind it, although everything's so overgrown, it's not easy to do. There's even a tree growing in front of it now. That kind of shows you how old this place is because those pine trees, they grow real slow. So I'm trying to get to the back side of the ore bin to see if there's any other abandoned stuff. Though it's just not accessible, near it was all overgrown and I'm on this side now and this is all a swamp. There's just water all over the ground. It's all overgrown. So I'm going to keep looking, you know, if I find anything else abandoned in this area. I'll put it in this video. If not, well, that's it.